Okay. Um, I know I returned to Mecha Breaks yesterday, and I already am recording a video for it. But I'm here to explain how I make custom minifigures, and also the new dev workshop we could see up here, which you see up here, the dev. Normally it's just, normally it's just this part. And then you add the slash dev slash. That's the new part of it, the in development workshop. But recently, like today, I released, uh, oh, sh that's Red Death. Um, <laughs> wrong one. I released a uh, red eyed pain, or me as a red lantern, basically, which I have right here in Blender as well. So, yeah. Cool thing about this, it lets you do the custom parts here in your little thing. So, I got the rescue, I got Renegade from Tron Uprising, and then I got the Red Lantern. All custom decals and stuff. Also, got all my Ninjago custom ninja hoods and stuff. So. Anyway, what I'm here to do is explain how I make a custom minifigure. Minifigure. So we gotta go through the files first. We gotta go through these files. Um, we will look at... We'll do this one. I mean, it's Captain America. As you can see, I've already edited these textures, but... What we're going to do for this is just go into the regular workshop in order to do this. Yeah, there's my, also my superior Iron Man. And I got these little things as well. But what we're going to do... Oh god, which minifigure am I going to uh, change? All right, now that I've returned, I can actually release these. Um, let's do... We might make some adjustments to Venomize your suit. I don't know. Marvel. We'll go PS4 Spider-Man. As you can see here, he looks kind of, it's just kind of meh. So what we're going to do, we're going to repose him. So it just looks a little better. See, like, I don't know, like that. No, it looks like great. This looks better, yeah. Oh, never mind. It's clipping. It's like it's clipping. There, that looks better. So, what we're going to do, we're going to export this as a Kalata. So, we can get the. Um, the. Zip folders, we can get the textures and stuff. So, if I go to maps, defuse, here's all the textures. So, there, I can now delete this. PS4 Spider Man, open this. You press maps, go into defuse. Here's all the textures. As I've already said that. But, yeah, now what we're going to do is 
We're going to go into Photoshop. Beware, this is like the CS5 Photoshop, so this is like pretty old. As you can see. Because this is just different. Uh, PS4 Spider-Man, Maps, Defuse. Here's old stuff. Uh, let's make this... I'm gonna make it a dark blue. So like when I go here, I'm gonna go here and it colors I have the color chart already like set up. So now we just need to find the earth blue color. Here it is, earth blue. Follow our way along the lines to this. Copy that. Go into here. Rid of this, just paste, press OK. I need a paint bucket tool, do this. Looking better already. Should just make that all dark blue. So it kind of matches the game. And yes, I've played the game before. It's a really good game. But there we go. Maybe I might make it a dark red as well. But yeah, that's there's that. So now we do save. Open another one. We go do the hips now. So fill that in. That was pretty easy. Save, open, do the leg. Fill that in with blue, dark blue. Save, open. This. Fill that in. Save. And then if I want, I could take the eyes or something on this suit. Do something hideous like that. No, I'm joking. Don't say that. Um, now I got that done. So now we're going to go into the parts. And we're going to go to new parts. All right, sorry, no, custom parts. Custom. This library. All right, I'm gonna go to custom. Three eight one four. That is the thing for. Um. Just the torso. I wanna make this dark blue. Or a decorated. Press this button. I want to find my torso. And there we go. There's the custom decal we just did on Photoshop. And then we've added it to Mecha Bricks. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, now that we've done that, I'm going uh, recording and I'll tell you when this is all done. Non joke. Joking, joking. Uh, we're just gonna call this Spooter Tor Spooter Tor. And we'll just put that normally there. Now also when you upload a texture you got a storage space. Alright got seventy percent of it done. But here's all the rest of my texture so like you got the renegade torso, you got a hip piece for the renegade, the right leg and the left leg, and you got the newest one we just put there, which is this one. And I got all the rescue parts. So, now we're also going to do 3815, which is the hip piece. We're going to call this pooter high. Make this dark blue. I'm gonna make it decorated. I'm gonna make it. Oh, what map is it? I think it's. Yeah, it's this one. I think it's UV4, yeah. So, let me do this. Yeah, there we go. Create that. You can also subdivide and render uh, like a little picture of it. 
You should see I haven't done that for the Spooder Tour or anything like that. The Spooder Torso. The Torso for our Spider-Man. I haven't done that yet. So, like, I'm rendering this, and it's going to look like that. But just with lighting. So, you'll see it here shortly. Or when I guess you won't. Um... So it'll just look like this, but with like lighting on it. Yeah, see, there we go, like something like that. And yeah, like that. But now what we're gonna do. 3816. Which is the right leg, the right leg. Make sure it's dark blue. Call this Spooter LL. Spoot, frick, I can't type. Spooter LL, or sorry, RL. And then we're gonna call this Spooter RL as well. We're gonna go decorated. The map should be EV5, I think. Yeah, UB5. And then this is the leg. So. I'm going to create that. Subdivide, render a picture of it. So that way it will also show up in the dev workshop. Yeah, so then we're going to do this plus. We're going to do 3817, which should be the left leg. Get this, that. Spooter LL. Spooter. Spooter LL. And we're going to go decorated. Switch this to the UV5 map. And we're going to put on this. And there we go. Let me just render the icon for it. I'm getting pretty good at this. I've gotten pretty good at this, actually. So. Yeah. See, there's a picture for it. And then you got all these other pictures for it. Except LL, which we just rendered. But now, when we go into the workshop. You go up here and switch it to slash dev slash. We're in a new workshop. So now we're going to do, there's this tab, the very bottom tab, custom parts. Here's our new parts. So we got to add the hit piece. Click on one of these. Select that leg. You select this leg. There you go, you got the legs already. And you got the torso. And then when we go up to the heads, the superheroes, Marvel. <clears throat> and we scroll all the way down till we find this one. There you go. I'm not going to add the arms, but also there's a thing that my friend AB said he was having trouble with, which was decor like coloring the different parts. So like if I take this head again. And I can do this. I can do this with a new workshop. So like, I can make it freaking Miles Morales if I wanted. You see, I don't want to do that though. So I'm going to do collectible minifigure series. Series A. Because the torso I use is the video game guy. So I just got a strip jacket. It'll load for a bit. Just load and load and load. That's all it's going to do right now. There we go. Now we should be able to find his jacket. There it is. Upper part number 3207. 
Now, the problem, he probably selected this entire thing and tried to do things, but you have to select a certain piece. There's a check bar, check box over here that says there's a material thing, there's a check box. If you disable it, it's not checked, you can't color the part. If it's checked, you can change the color of the part. But problem is, he wants to change the little details in the torso. But if you're going to do that, you're going to have to do it in Photoshop like I did with the Spider-Man torso. You're going to have to do it in Photoshop or something. Or GIMP. Or any other, like, photo editor. So. Like, here, I can make it dark blue, maybe. So, there we go. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. That's how I make custom minifigures and helping AB with this problem. If you like the video, you can do whatever. I don't really care. Um, but that's it. So, yeah, have a great day and uh, bye.